that's it for me. I gotta go back to play. <coughs> oh god. <coughs> uh. <coughs> I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. I hope that that's part of the stream. And then, like, the first, like, few seconds of the stream is just me trying to quote Reggie and then almost vomiting. And then that's the video. This gonna be a good one. I can feel it. Downloading an update. Discord, fuck you. Hmm. Oh, that's old. <coughs> oh, no. <laughs> mm. Gross. <sighs> you know what? There's no music. How are we going to play the game with no music? Don't worry, guys. I'm fixing it. Mm. Oh. It's Goldie. Banana. Banana. Thank you, Arden. Do, 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 do. Hold on a second. Can you guys see me if I turn this around? Whoa. Hello. This is kind of a, a different look. Oh my god, my hair is a mess. Shut up, computer. I didn't ask you. Hello. Hello, everyone. Yeah, we'll start the stream like this. This is fine. I was wearing a jacket for most of today. Where's my hat? Should I put my hat back on? You probably, you guys can probably hear it. That's fine. This is what we're doing today. Hello. Nobody's here. I don't know who I'm talking to. What am I? Fucking. Ooh. That is, that is loud. Star underscore Inari. That's me. Ha ha ha. How you guys doing? You good? How are you, Arden? I got checkers. I haven't really eaten it yet, but here it is. See? Checkers. Yeah. So, I'm going to be eating loudly into the microphone while I stream. Because that's what we do here. That's just what we do. I'm having troubles getting... Um, so I like this setup, and I did some things to get this to work for, like, my, recording my 3DS. Um, Domino's Pizza, please sponsor me. Yeah, I'd be fine with that, too. Um, but, what was I saying? Right. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Mm. I had a long day at work, for sure. I can turn the game on. Bye -bye. I need to find my, uh, my, my library. That's right, Arden doesn't do anything, but sponsor her anyway. I'm subscribed to 600 channels on YouTube. I don't know where this thing is getting that number from. That's probably, I mean, it's probably correct, but Jesus Christmas. But, but Fred, I am very busy streaming. I can't. Mm -hmm. It's 10.04? Oh, sick. Yes, let's play. I'm sorry that there's a glare and a reflection. That's the only light in the room, so I have no choice. I have a purchase on here? What? I haven't purchased anything. This thing is lying to me. Uh-huh. Someone moved in. Oh, boy. Hell yeah, bruh. Fred. If I have to come out there... Oh, yeah. It's been a little while since I streamed this. I've been playing every day. Um... So, as you can see, my clothes are a little different. I have a suit. Fred! All right, listen to me. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? You're not even by the door anymore. You went away. No.
Oh my goodness, he's so loud. I mean, I was being loud. Jesus Christ, there is a lot of glare. Okay, maybe I need to do something about that. Um, so all the glare is coming from the lights. You want me to get the beeping? Do I have half a heart? I got one thing in the mail, and that's what all that beeping was for. Let's see what it was. Oh, it's from Wishy the Star. I saw you making wishes on shooting stars from up here. Your wish? Oh yes, I know what it was. Let me grant that wish of yours. Bro, you don't know my wishes. What is it? A throne? Bro. I didn't want a throne. Let's get pop out chat loading. Let's get that closed. Let's get. How is Discord still updating? Jesus Christmas. God. I want to talk to my friends, goddammit. In the words of one of my favorite bands, Foster the People. I love my friends. I love my friends. That's the song. That's the whole song. What is this? My sister posted a Snapchat of her and a horse. My sister is, tw is 11 years old. I don't know. I don't know who decided to let her have Snapchat and post horse pictures, but it was not me. Chris's sister is a horse. She is a horse girl. It's the, I don't, what happened? Listen, I moved away from my parents. I don't live with my parents in New York. I live in a different state, in my own apartment, whatever. I moved out and I've been gone for I don't know how long, but in that time, my sister became a horse girl. What? Absolutely insane to me. I don't even know what to do with that information. Oh, let's go to retail. Bruh, okay, I need to turn off the lights in here, and it makes me sad because I like being able to see. You know? Oh, Goldie, come here. What's up? You moved to town a few days ago. Uh-huh. Oh, it kept saying move to Jodo. Oh, yeah, so after this last stream, um... <laughs> there. Now, you guys should have the ability to look at the screen with no glare. Nice. Just, the only issue is that it's odd for me to, um... Oh, fuck, what am I doing? Um, it's a little odd for me to record from this angle, but I'm making it work. So yeah, we found Wisp, and we got, um, Goldie to move in. So I'm excited. Nice. I love you already, Goldie. You're one of my favorite villagers. Oh yes, it finally opened! God. Okay, let me go get the Staranari Recording Studio open. If it won't crash, it's very likely that it'll... Why is this still open? Oh, okay. Um, click. I'm gonna have to make this louder. What happened, Arden? I said, and he's here. Welcome to the stream, Chris. Thanks. I haven't been here yet. How are you, Arden? Um... I, I was good listening to the stream with wonderful, nice audio quality, and then I, I switched over to just the Discord talk, and now I'm slightly sad. Is the Discord quality worse? A lot worse. Oh. I mean, you could just talk to me, like, you could just mute me on here and then just listen to the stream, you're just gonna have a lot of delay. <laughs> <laughs> that would be weird. I'll like, just say something, like, ten seconds after you say it. So, Arden, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. Good. How you? Oh, no, I thought we were doing, like, a like a gag where you would just wait ten seconds and then answer. 
God damn it. <laughs> Are you really waiting a whole 10 seconds? <sighs> Leave it to our dude. <laughs> okay, so I have a ton of stuff on me. Actually, I don't have anything on me at the moment. I lied. Um, I'm, I, uh, I finally sent my, my right Joy-Con in to get fixed, so no, uh, no Pokemon for me for a while. And by a while, I mean a couple days, but oh no! That was the worst. Is this crazy red? Oh shit. Bruh. Let's accident, let's, let's buy a painting. Hello, Red. See, we could do that gag, but I think it's a 10 seconds, 60 seconds, and you wait longer. Orden. Hey, what's up, Bob? Okay, I... Okay, I'm gonna need some help here, because I don't even know how to check these things. Um, I'm at Crazy Red's shop. I don't know how how to tell the difference between a fake and a real painting or statue. Uh, I have... You finished your fifth test this week today. Jesus Christmas. Why are they giving you that many tests? Whose idea was it to give anybody that many tests? All right, we have a, a burger. Oh, I was going to turn the camera around, but I realized I'm sitting in the dark. Yeah, you basically have to know what the real picture looks like. Where's my phone? Alright, I have two statues here that are pretty famous. Um, let's see. New Leaf uh, Crazy Red Guide. There we go. Let's see what we find. It's your fault? Nah, nothing's your fault, Bob. You're a good person. Oh, this one has pictures in the guide. Perfect. Okay. So, let's see. According to this, I should be able to figure out if this one's real or fake. This one is fake. Um, see, its eyes are supposed to just be, like, straight lines across, but this one has, like, eye-looking things. So, it's not this. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, aha, gallant statue. This seems right. What is the exactly the difference here? Is it the direction that he's looking in? Because that means this one is fake too. Oh my god. Okay. How about this one of the guy with the thingy? Uh, I think this is the real one. Because this one, according to this, there's no thing around it. So yeah, this is the real one. So we're going to get this one. Sweet. There we go. How much is this? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I have that money. You'd smash the statue of David. Oh my god. Penis. It's true, Spirit Cat Penis. You got Pokemon Shield today? Hey! I sent my Joy-Con in uh, yesterday morning, so <laughs> I can't play uh, Pokemon for a little while. But once I do, we won't have to worry anymore. 
cool. They're gonna send that in. Am I able to buy more than one at a time? Because I could check and see if this is the right painting. I think you said one per customer per day. Let's see. Wistful painting. Why don't you check that guide? That, this guide is alphabetical, I think, so that actually kind of helps. I don't think that's the real one, because the, the real painting, she's wearing a blue hood. Yep, a blue bandana, that's, a, that's a fake one, too. All right, well... I, I know that picture. <laughs> hey, Arden was... I Literally, I was looking at it and right as you said it. Oh, okay, it's one per customer per visit. Wait. Oh, but he said it's per visit, so does that mean I can just walk back in and... Oh, he's... Whatever. Thanks. Dang, that... I can't believe they, they did put a penis on that statue. They did? They did... Wait, hold on. Somebody look up. What is this game rated? Is it E or E10? I mean, it's art, right? So I guess they can't get away... They can get away with it, I guess? We should send Goldie something in the mail, like a present. Because we're so happy to have her. Who's this? Oh, this is our new friend! This is Stitches! Okay, I scanned Stitches' uh, amiibo card to get him to move in. So it's this... rated E for everyone for comic mischief. Oh, this is Stitches, one of my other favorite villagers. Heck yeah. The first day you lived in Johto. This is the best. <laughs> That's gonna be a bra moment, am I right, gamers? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Ooh, what do we get? An ore? And a fossil. When we get in the mail when we get it in the mailbox, let's suck the dick on it. Oh my god, Spirit Cat, why? <laughs> why did I have to read that? <laughs> you guys are really obsessed with the David statue's penis today, huh? That's okay. I still love you guys. Coral. I mean, they also have the Redemulus and Romulus statue, I believe. Really? And that's that's all the kids that are um, nursing off of a wolf. Oh jeez. I guess Animal Crossing don't give a fuck. <laughs> and gets a an E for everyone rating somehow. Hell yeah. People people played five minutes of the game. They don't know there's penises in here. ESRB played the game for twenty minutes. Said this game's too cute to be a, a problem, and then they just fucking that was that. Oh yeah, I um I use my amiibo cards to continuously add villagers, um, and I'm just gonna keep doing that until uh, I think Pee Wee should be moving out officially. Yep, his house is gone, and Rosie is moving in. <laughs> yes, we got rid of him, finally. Stupid Pee Wee. There's a new Pokemon game coming out next week. Is there? Does Mystery Dungeon already come out this week or next week? Oh man. They haven't had like a third version of Pokemon in a while, huh? You know, like um, how they had silver, gold, and then crystal? Ruby, they. Sapphire, and then emeralds. I think they said they're not doing that anymore. Especially with the with the DLC. They said it's just a better format to just. Um, to just like make additional content for $30 rather than make a new game. Which makes sense to me. Um. Plus, you'll be able to... You don't have to, like, play through the rest of the game already. Hand. You guys like my hand? Here it is. Woo! 
hand reveal. You guys have seen my hands before. In, in fact, in my videos, I move my hands around so much that we usually just zoom in on them while I'm speaking. Because... Or my nose, you know. It depends on what I'm feeling like when when uh, when we're editing. <laughs> it's really dependent on uh, how we're feeling. You know how it be. In the words of, I don't know, lots of different people, it really be like that. God, the music in this game makes me want to pee. I know that doesn't make any why is, sense. Why is because <laughs> it makes me relax. Listen, I know it doesn't make any sense. Just let it be. A penis reveal when? Absolutely never. <laughs> Play some sea shanties? What? Coral. Hey, look, it said coral, just like you said, Bob. Ba -na -na -da -da. So every time, every day I get home from work and I have, like, schoolwork and stuff to do... Um, and I finally get finished with everything. <laughs> and it's usually, like, one in the morning. So, I've been collecting, like, a bunch of stuff in the game. And I just can't sell it because, um, everything is closed. <laughs> so this is the first time in, like, probably since the last stream that I'm going to be able to go to retail. So I'm very excited. <laughs> What's up, Reese? How you doing, gamer? Um, so there's... I think I'm gonna move this back a little so I can use the touchscreen without, like, having to, like, reach around. Yes, I have some things I want to sell. Oh, I probably should go to the... Th call first. I'm just gonna sell this one amethyst. What are you giving me? 2,400 bells? That's pretty good. Man titties? I don't have man -tivies. I have a really, like... Broad chest... Like, I have, according to the geneticist I saw, I have an abnormally large chest plate. So. Yeah. You boy, you boy. I see a geneticist. Um, they were trying to figure out what was wrong with my wrists. So, we were trying everything. So, one of the so things. Looking at your chest. No, the geneticist of, uh, the. G g g God. The geneticist checks your entire body. Like, they go through your family's history, your history. They give you a full body examination, which was really, really horrifying, honestly. I will never do a toe reveal because toes are disgusting. <laughs> end, of, end of discussion. Toes are foul. God damn it, Arden. You can't be making duck puns right now. We're trying to have a serious talk about toes. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you rather I start making goose puns? I know the internet loves those right now. Yeah, definitely don't do that. Don't do goose puns. I would rather duck puns. Cries in toes. <laughs> Are you crying into your toes like they're tissues? Because <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> Full body examination, just like your gym teacher. Oh no, no, but really, it was weird. They like put me. They sh so she put me in. A, it was a. It was like an old lady. She was really small. She was really short, and she was just like examining my. I guess she has abnormally short leg plates. I don't know. Don't ask. She didn't tell me. She was just <laughs> asking me questions. I didn't get a chance to ask her questions. Well, that doesn't seem very fair. Well, that's what I thought, but whatever. You know, it be that way. We're going to the museum. We gotta go get these fossils checked. Totally not true. What? Oh, that's a good one, because you wrote toe. I'm not revealing my toes. Sorry, gamers. Assess these fossils, blathers, you fucking whore. I'm sorry. I love you, blathers. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Why are doc doctors able to touch your pee-pee? That's a great question. I don't like it. <laughs> Why, what they, be able to do? they shouldn't be allowed. Why not? Mm, because. Wait, did he say if we if he needed any of these fossils? Oh, okay, he doesn't. Okay. 
Okay, Blathers, shut your mouth. That's it. You're done. Pee-pee <laughs> cancer. Is that a thing? Yes. Um, a lot of some doctors will check for testicular cancer when they're giving you like your your GP. At least my GP did. GP. PP. Uh, well. General practitioner. Oh, okay. Oh, no, yeah, that's the only time I remember. And it was always really uncomfortable and upsetting. PP cancer. That's what I have. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they check for that, and then when you're younger, they check to make sure that um, your secondary sex characteristics are growing in okay, like during puberty and whatnot. Oh, okay. We're totally... I mean, not that any of my stuff is monetized, but this would totally be demonetized. Hello, Klaus. What's the yes, latest? Disgusting health is terrible. It seems like it, according to YouTube. No health. Only death. Yeah, you can make jokes about people dying or stream, you know, like, doom. Die. Die. But don't, don't dare discuss, um, normal things about being a human. The pee-pee. Oh, thank you, Timmy Nook. You gamer. Let's buy some paper. We need it. I am interested. Oh no, is my are my pockets full? Oh no. Ah. Uh, damn it, we have so much stuff going on. Yeah, Timmy, shut up. I have to hurry up. Or we only have like half an hour of time left. Before the before retail closes. <laughs> And before his store closes too, I have to. I have like so much shit I have to sell. No wait, I have to go sell shit in my inventory. Fuck, fuck! I'm wasting time. You got Olive Garden today, just like in the Sonic movie. <laughs> That's just the one thing people keep talking about is the game, like not the game. I mean, I am. I understand why my brain made the confusion, but. Still, not the game. The movie t the, the movie mentions, like, going to Olive Garden, like, five times. <laughs> I love how effective product placement is today, because if you use product placement in anything, people all over the internet just, like, go off. <laughs> and it's, like, 80,000 times more exposure than you would have had otherwise. Yep. You're gonna go see the Sonic movie tomorrow? Nice. Let me know how many times they talk about Olive Garden. <laughs> I do want to sell something. I want to sell you all this dumb shit we have. It's like, thanks, Internet, for doing the hard work of marketing. Hell yeah. Alright, $20,000. Thanks, Reese. I have a lot of shit to sell you, so get your money ready. It's like when people leave angry comments on advertisements, and they're like, Oh my gosh, this is so dumb. Hello, fellow kids, or whatever they say. And it's just like... Bro, you're helping them get more exposure. So, like, you're either really dumb, or you're playing a really good, like, you're, you're, you're acting really, really well at disguising your attempts to boost this advertisement. Samson, I don't have time to talk to you. A mole cricket? Bro, I don't know how to catch a mole cricket. I'm on it. Sure, I'll catch you a mole cricket, Samson. I'm just not right now. Give me some time. Okay? Yo, Bobby, get over here. Yeah. Nexus, go find me a mole cricket. Actually, can you add him? He said he wanted to play games with me when I got off of work. He called me, like, twice when I was at work. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that we do get to actually play games together. Um, Steep Hill. Sure. I mean, I actually would have seen the add everyone, but I will add him specifically. Yeah, I... I don't know if I trust the fact that he'd look. Let's see. There was a fortune. Promise what it may. A leopard never changes its spots. Number 54. The fuck does that mean? Some cryptic ass shit. Uh-huh. He who believes he is a pure hunter. They can whatever they want about themselves, but they can never hide their true selves. Mmm. Isn't that the truth? Oh, uh, I mean, when he gets in here, I'll let him know that, uh, I can't use my Switch right now. 
because he was bothering me about wanting to do Pokemon later, and I was like, well... <laughs> See, look at all that. You guys can kind of see all the shit I have to get rid of. There's a lot. This throne, I guess. This telescope we got from Astrid and a letter. This box of tissues. So it took you uh, how many months now to decide to finally do it? Uh. <laughs> I'm not sure. I can't count that high. Honestly, I can't count that high. I. It's been pretty much since I got my Switch, almost. <laughs> Which was, what, April of 2017? So, yeah, I'm not good at that number. Whatever number that is, I don't... Fuck, I was supposed to take shit out! God! The fuck is... I'm wasting so much time. I'm actually brain dead. Like, like literally losing brain cells every moment. Here, let me distract you some more from your task. Um, Wumbo... <laughs> Arden, you can't be wumboing at me right now. Wait, I can't do this right now. I need to get these these fossils that I already have. Actually, might have room to do all of this at once. Oh, I do. Look at that. A perfect amount of room, in fact. Oh my god, you bitch. Get in there. Damn it, I have two of number 54. That's stupid. Don't puke. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I don't know why that's like the, the worry is vomiting out of nowhere, but it is. So, you know, we deal with it. Here at Star and Ari, we face vomiting head-on. Like any adult. Who lives over here? I don't even remember. It used to be Sylvia, who was a purple kangaroo, um, but then she moved to my friend's town. But that's okay, because my friend's town was named Rueville, because my friend really likes kangaroos, so I wasn't really that upset about the kangaroo moving out. <laughs> Oh, I got all this fucking shit to sell you? Get ready. Bruh. Get ready. You ready? You ready, Reese? How much money are we getting? A million dollars. 28,000. That's not a million. That's fine. I will come back with more. You don't even understand the amount of shit I have to sell you, Reese. You don't even know. I'm gonna have at least $12 by the end of this. I mean bells. My brain is turning to liquid in my head. Boom. You eat bugs? Nice. That was a very delayed reaction. What did you get at Olive Garden? Can you tell me? Bugs. You got bugs at Olive Garden? A classic. <laughs> Now at Olive Garden, all you can eat bugs. <laughs> Featuring all kinds of bugs from around the world. Enjoy never-ending bugs with any purchase of any meal. It's true. Never-ending bugs. That's like their thing, right? They have like never-ending pasta bowl or whatever. I've got that once. It was a horrible decision. In fact, it was probably one of the worst decisions I ever made. Time, you can even get never ending bug bowls or never ending bug sticks. <laughs> never ending bug. Bruh, I want to be a never ending bug when I grow up. I'm 22 and I'm talking about growing up, so yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Bro, what happened to chat? People were typing shit and then they're gone. The typing ceased. Everybody's so enthralled with my relaxing Animal Crossing gameplay. That's what happened, probably. Reese, why do you gotta go... Oh, hello there, welcome! Hello, it's... <laughs> I think I just got really close to my mic and not...
Nice. Uh-huh. <laughs> Arden, Arden, no. Uh-huh. Like I am writing a letter to a friend. Wow. To a friend. Do you guys hear that? I eat bugs. <laughs> <laughs> what is this next to me? I have no idea. It's a sandwich, I think. I feel like if I tried, I could actually do ASMR. Totally. Can't I, mean, that hard. I mean, how hard can it be to quietly talk into a microphone? That's not meant to, like, demean people who do that. I, I, I want to make that very clear. I, I love people just in general. I mean, I really don't love people. In fact, I probably dislike people more than most things. Um, but, you know. So you just have very low standards for loving things, and that's okay. I don't have low standards. That's not very, That seems like a rude way to put it. No, because it, it's just the logical conclusion, you see. You said you love people, but you dislike people more than most things. Which means that you love most things way more than people, but you also still love people. That's true. Which means you have low standards. Damn. Arden throwing this. They're so low that even people can Arden, Arden throwing math at me. <laughs> to prove that I don't love people enough. <laughs> uh, yes, all the math. Five, six, seven, eight. Hoodoo, Chris. People. But not, but but not most people. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate my like four regular viewers. <laughs> Hell yeah. So if you're not a regular viewer, screw it. Yeah, you're not appreciated. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I want to sell something, Reese. Ke check it. More. Fucking dinosaurs. Wait, no. I wanted to check and make sure that I had tried to donate these to to Blathers first. Because I, I don't fucking remember. I know I tried checked the other ones. I don't know if I checked these, though. Nexus gave me these fossils. He said, these are ones I had already, if you want them. I said, all right. Well, he just left. He just left them all over the floor in his town. <laughs> I guess he just can't leave fish and bugs out on the floor because that's quote unquote inhumane. Whatever. <laughs> all right. I need to buy paper from the store before it closes because I want to make sure I can write letters. Sparkly paper, sure. I'm gonna just write these off stream because I have to sit here and do that. So I'm gonna probably buy a set of cool paper and a set of sparkly paper just to have paper. Okay, can I get you to move back into my town, Tammy? Because you're here like every day in the shopping area, but you don't live here anymore. And I'm really sick of it. I just want you to move back in. I like you. You're a cool villager. You're very nice to me. And you're not Apollo. No, wait. I like Apollo. I used to have Apollo in my town, and then he moved out, and I was really sad. Is Apollo the eagle? Yeah. Yeah, he's like the bald eagle. He wears, like, this... The black, like, zip-up shirt. Or maybe it's supposed to... I don't know what it's supposed to be, but that's what I figure it is. Yeah, there are certain characters I know because they're, like, super overrated in fan art. Yeah. Is Apollo one of them? <laughs> Yeah, Apollo, Bo. Bo. Oh, is that the deer? Um, I'm going to assume you said deer. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I have no way of telling you what that sounded like in my, in my headset, but yeah. It wasn't deer. Okay. All of these I also already have here. Wow, alright, well. Time for me to uh, move on and donate these and get more money, Blathers. Haha. -ha. Well, yeah, it's because she's adorable. Also, she's new, and she's like, I guess, like the main focus of this game. And also in Smash. Oh, that too. That only boosted it. Thank good. Thank the Lord. 
Isabel Art gives me life. It's the only reason I get up in the morning. Also to make money so that I can play Animal Crossing. It's like Animal Crossing, but in real life. You go to work every day so that you can buy Animal Crossing. <laughs> That's true. All right, are you ready? Oh, there's none of like Reese. I've never seen a Reese that arc. <sighs> I've seen some really upsetting uh, Reese fan art. <laughs> Ouch! Yay! Look at all the money we have. Why don't they let your bell limit? Why can't you carry more than 99,999 bells? Like, why do you have to carry them separate in your pocket after that? Like, who cares? That's a stupid rule. I have 99,000 bells in a bag here, and then my smaller amount here. See, that's dumb. I don't know whose I idea. I actually for nice, convenient math. So when big corporations do their trading, they handle money in bags of 99,999. Nice. Do I have battle? Very, very easy math. Do I have battleship like the physical game? Um, not here. I might back in New York, but not here. Why? What's up, Goldie? Living alone is sad. Oh, that's the most depressing thing. I live right next to you, Goldie. Look, there's your house, and here's mine. We're best friends. I'm gonna send you. I fucking love Goldie. I would literally get shot for Goldie. I 100% admit that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I'm planning on making a trip to New York eventually to go see my friend. Who I haven't seen in, like, four years. Jeez. I'm a bad friend. <laughs> you want to play Battleship with me? I take my one half and then you play the other half over the internet. That's a fucking great idea. <laughs> that sounds like such a fun time. That's like how I would have had fun back in like high school because my friends would all ignore me. I'd be like, okay, I'm going to play Battleship while you guys are talking. And they'd be like, what? And I'd sit there and I'd do whatever. You'd play Battleship by yourself? Yeah. If that was what it took. It's definitely a reason my friends don't... Didn't like me in school. It was because I was fucking annoying. Nothing's funnier than playing chess with yourself. And you then just... you still can't figure out how one half won. <laughs> like, somebody always wins and how you're just like... <laughs> no, honestly, every time I play chess, like I, I've I've lost, and I'm like, what What do you mean I lost? <laughs> or I have um a a CD a classic CD ROM computer game of Lego Chess, um and every time I've played it, I've played it with the computer players on normal, and it'll always end in a draw where it's one it's my king running around the board and their king running around the board and nobody else is left. <laughs> And it just ends in a stalemate of, like, me running away from them and them moving one space at a time to try to catch me. It's the worst. I love Lego chess, but, uh, I'm bad at video games. Wait, no, I'm not bringing... Making any AI for a board game is really tough. Yeah. Like, a lot of them, it comes down to they have a certain probability of making a mistake. Mm-hmm. So like a low difficulty, they're more likely to make a mistake, but they still always know like the perfect move. So there's just times when they'll just pull out an absolutely perfect move that totally destroys you. <laughs> it's just like, well, okay then. I mean, what do you do about that? You're fucked. Like, <laughs> <laughs> silly. Into the TIY. I don't even know what TIY stands for. Like, probably fucking. I don't know. Hi Timmy, I have some uh, some fucking, I have some fucking fortunes. I got lucky tickets, gamer. Yes, I'd like to exchange them for prizes. Give me uh, this one, number thirty-seven. What is it? What is it? Tell me. Ah, a Triforce. Nice. I'm gonna put it in the house. Ganon will. 
to play on DIY. That's it, really? Titties in you. <laughs> Thanks, Matt Brian, for make me making me say titties out loud. God, I gotta like work on that. Um, that impulse of just reading whatever I see on screen out loud. <laughs> well, we got 54. What is it? A Dalmatian ornament? What? <laughs> and in German, it's called Time und Gartenbedar. <laughs> well, good to know. How would we... <laughs> what would we do without that? Timmy, can you stop fucking saying shit and just give me my fucking stuff? Bruh. I mean, it's better than Nook's Cranny. What we got, Timmy? What we got? What we got? A Chihuahua ornament? Bruh, why are we getting all these dogs? They heard you like dogs. I do really like dogs, so the game's doing a good job in that department. Bruh, I don't want to talk to your brother Tommy. I'm fine. I know he works earlier in the week, but that's not really my fucking business. So Nexus is just not showing up now. You see? We got another Dalmatian ornament? This is the worst. <laughs> Please try again. No. Fuck off, Timmy. Okay, I have to remember to send letters in a little while. Um, well, I'll do that after the stream, probably. Okay. We... I think we sold everything that we had on us that we needed to get rid of. Yeah, I think we did. So that's good. I think we found all the fossils for today. We found the money rock and the rock that turns into an ore. And the able sisters are already closed. Same with kicks. So nothing to do there. Just making sure we're getting our daily stuff out of the way. What else is there? Club LOL just has DJ KK there right now, so we can't get a song. Wait, no, that's tomorrow we can get a song, so we'll try to do that tomorrow. I think we'll probably do this to start the stream, and then we'll do Minecraft tomorrow. I know, I know. Really? Minecraft, Chris? I know. Listen, I know you guys always ask for it. Today we're actually, I mean, tomorrow we're actually going to do it. Oh, who's this moving in? Oh, this is Rosie. This is where uh, fucking stupid-ass Pee-wee's house was. Now it's gone. I'm so happy I have... There's a named Nosegay. No oh, that's right. He's in the GameCube version, right? Yeah, and her catchphrase is honk. What a great fucking catchphrase. Honestly. What's up, Astrid? Hello. What did I want? I just wanted to say hi. Rory and Goldie are a cute couple. Bruh, Goldie's my friend. Fucking, we're gonna have to kick Rory out now. <laughs> Rory's been here forever. We don't want to get rid of him. Yeah, they couldn't be a couple yet, because that would mean that the game would have to have more than just an E rating, because romance is verboten. Well, that's true. No romance, guys. Don't do it. Bam, bam, bam. I think Nexus said he wants to come and help out with some stuff for my town once he gets here, so... We'll do that. What's this? Meow coupons? What's up? Can I receive some coupons? No coupons. Like, what do I do with these? I have no idea what to do with them. Let's go to the campsite. We haven't really hung out there at all. Well, look at that. I really like the music here. 
It's nice. All right, let's figure out. Now coupons can be spent in the campground at Harvey's shop or in the character's mobile home. Oh. And they can also be exchanged for 3,000 bells each at the ABD. Oh. Hello, Mr. Walrus. It's Wendell. Oh, he does art, right? What? Order furniture. What can we order from here? Paint floor, crayons. Oh, we got pasta? Bruh. Three coupons? Ordering it. Bam. Spaghetti! <laughs> what else we got? A sloppy sink? Nah, bro. My house. Tacos? Bro, we're ordering tacos right now. <laughs> and Wendell's painting. Well, we gotta order that. That seems like kind of cool. There. So, what's up, Wendell? You need to find a new hobby. Okay. Well, you seem like a cool dude. Uh, have fun, bud. We spent some of our meow coupons to get food for the house. <laughs> Even though I have no tables or anything. So. Why is there... It looks like there's a place where you can even have another uh, car here. So I guess we'll figure that out later. What's up, Harvey? Um, hey, Harv. Um... Is this your stuff? I could buy a tire or this plant? I mean, those are some pretty great things, Harv. Honestly. Bum <laughs> bum <laughs> I'm thinking of changing up the town tune and maybe the town flag. So maybe we'll do that off, off stream and then I can show them off tomorrow. Mm -mm. Oh, have we sent hi to, to Deirdre today? Hello. How are you? Just saying hello. Rory's house is in a really nice spot. Damn, everybody talking about Rory today. I wonder why. What'd he do? He is. He's being hella Chad today. What's up, Rooney, my bro? What's up? Uh, let's chat. Oh, you want me to bury your time capsule? Okay, I got you. Alright, I'm gonna bury your time capsule. I'm gonna bury it right next to your house. That way I'll know where it is. Right stream. Yeah. Don't let me forget stream. Cause I will. Alright, don't forget stream. Where does Rooney live? Oh, he lives right here. Why am I not remembering that? Rooney was asking me to do this while he was next to his house, so this is perfect. Okay, let's bury it right here in front of the sign. That's a perfect way to do it. There it is. Berry. There. Now we just have to remember that that's there. I got you, Rooney. I buried your time capsule for you. Or until you get bored. Nice. <laughs> so just leave that there forever. Chris, I wanted to know if you could find the time capsule you buried for me. 
See, what I would do is I would be like, oh, okay, and I'd bury it in some dumb place. And then forget, and never be able to find it. And then it'd make me sad, and I don't want to do that, so... We like Rudy here. We don't want to make him sad. What's up, Goldie? The weather was great today, was it? I was out in the cold all day working, so I, I, it wasn't great for me, but... You're going to invite our new friend over? That's so sweet of you, Goldie. You are a model citizen. You really are. Wow. A, oh, the, yeah, there was a meteor shower in the game last night. It was really pretty. But it was like 1.32 in the morning, and I was just laying in bed playing. This is like the only game that will, like, I can, that can legitimately get me to play, like, all hours of the day. We have a few minutes until retail closes, so I'm going to sell those three apples I accidentally knocked down. And then we'll be good. I'm getting, like, messages on my phone, and they're, like, popping up and taking, like, complete control of everything on screen, so I'm having trouble seeing. So that's fun. I would like to sell. Yes. These three apples. Read them and weep, Reese. Deal. <laughs> yep. Apples are definitely my town fruit. <sighs> oh no, tomorrow's my early day. Gross. Oh no, how early? Oh, I have to be at work at 8. For me, that's early, because I like sleeping until, like, 11. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you're as much. <laughs> I mean, to, I don't fall asleep till like, 3, so I really need that sleep. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a fun time. Now we don't have any villagers here who I particularly dislike. I mean, we'll probably get rid of Klaus just because I don't really enjoy him, but I don't dislike him. We got rid of Pee Wee. That was the goal. We, Our entire goal was to make sure that Pee Wee didn't exist anymore. Now he doesn't exist. What else are we going to do with our lives? This is the new music, I guess. We're just going to put the Triforce down inside the house and hopefully not summon a demon or something. I can't put any more furniture in here. I've fucking overflowed the room. The game is really upset about it. <laughs> I can put this flamingo away. I'm going to put a Triforce in my room. It's just going to float here. Perfect. There it is, just chilling. Oh! Nice. That shit's just gonna float there. How you doing? What's up, Wisp? Oh, you need a person to possess? Okay, we'll get a card for you or something. Wait a minute. Doesn't the Wolf Link amiibo work for this? Hold on. I think it does. Why? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, they really get trying like, to a furry, huh? Yeah, hold on. Here we go. I'm crossing amiibo. Does Wolf Link work? Holy shit! <laughs> Bruh. He said, feels nice to have Midna off my back for once. Bruh. Talking about Midna. Do you sound like W Link? Yeah, you do. Um, <sighs> come and play. What is that? W mean? Link. I have never heard of a character called 
That's him. Can W Link move in? It just said come and play. I don't know what that means. Maybe that means he's going to come visit the campsite. And then maybe we have to convince him to live here after he comes to the campsite. Maybe. I don't know. And you don't have enough pots around your town. You need, you need 30 pots in order to recruit him. Probably, honestly. Hold on, what's this? It's amazing. This house needs, like, a major rework. Everything here is ugly. We'll work on that eventually. Not today. But maybe another time. <laughs> Okay, what have we done? Let's go do some quiet fishing. Just for fun. That a fish? Nope. Oh, hi Rooney. We gotta write a letter to all of our friends. Let's go by the ocean. I feel like I always have better luck catching ocean fish rather than river fish. Hello, Captain. I also for I forgot it's like still February, so there's probably like no fish out here at all. I know you can catch uh, a salmon in the uh, in the waterfall sometimes, but not today, I guess. Yeah, there's literally nothing out here. Well, that's a fish, I think. <laughs> uh-huh, come on, fish. Yes! It's a squid. Nice. The description on this this game I'm looking at right here is an interactive visual novel where no, where even if the world was perfect, nothing truly is. What game is it? It's just uh, I'm looking at indie games. Oh. Even if the world was I just, perfect. I just thought, even if the world was perfect. Nothing truly is. Bruh, that's some edgy shit. <laughs> that's like some that's like that's like a line from Shadow the Hedgehog. Like, <laughs> like It doesn't make sense. Even if the world is perfect, nothing truly is. Alright, Shadow, whatever you say. Even if the sky was blue, it isn't. Even if the sky was blue, blue's not a real color. What? <laughs> That's right. I only kill because Sonic... <laughs> no! I got all excited. <gasps> There's a little fish. Hello. There you go, Mr. Fish. Do you see this? Are you gonna turn towards it? Bruh, okay, so one of the craziest things is I've noticed recently that I can hear the neighbors who live behind, under us snoring. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's just odd. Did you try banging on the floor like they did for you? No. 
JK, don't actually do it. I'm a, I'm a good neighbor. I wouldn't do that. Whoa, what's that? A sea butterfly. That's a new thing. We've never had that before. That's going right to Mr. Oh, God. Can y'all stop snoring so loud? Oh, my God. I'm going to, like, complain to the land... Do it, make a noise complaint to the landlord. <laughs> can you increase their rent by 50 bucks? Yeah, can you do what you do to us every, every like, five minutes and increase the rent? Could I give us some of that rent? To me, specifically, because I need money. Because I need to get Animal Crossing New Leaf on the Nintendo 3DS for my friend Arden. In fact, I got. And they'll, be, and they'll be like, no, you don't. In fact, I got paid today. I think. Can you gift things on the the eShop? I have no idea. Let's try. I've never used an eShop, so I can't tell you. Oh, okay. Let me see. I have no idea, honestly. I guess I could Google it. Let's see. Ah. Uh, hello, Blathers. So the number of raffles you've been entering, I'm surprised you don't have one already. I know. Can you gift games on 3DS? There. I have a donation for you, Blathers. Here it is. One sea butterfly, which is something I didn't know existed. Where do you even find, like, all those travels? I have no idea. They just pop up. It's almost impressive how many you find. It's true. I find so many. I'm going to win one of them eventually. I won Untitled Goose Game like that, so... Yeah, so, you know, I just gotta keep entering. Bro, we did it. We got a, a fish. Hell yeah, bro. Okay. So. Are there any aquatic villagers, like dolphins or sharks or anything like that? There are, s like, octopuses. And I think that's it in terms of aquatic villagers. Yeah, and there's like three or four octopuses in total. One of which is a freaking Splatoon octopus. Yeah, his name is Inkwell. <laughs> okay. Hold on, gamers. Uh, you guys just look at this half moon and me chilling. Uh, I'm going to go get myself some water. Uh. And stay hydrated, time. Well, yeah, we have to listen. I, I, I've said gamer at least a couple times. <laughs> that is some delicious, nutritious, and refreshing water. Nutritious, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ugh, water's nutritious. What kind of nutrition you got in your water? None. It's just, I mean, it's water. It's good for you, right? <laughs> My whole life a lie? Probably. I don't know, dude. All I can say is this. Statistically speaking, 100% of people who drink water die. It's true. 100% of people who breathe air also die. So, like, I think we're being lied to. We all need to stop drinking water and stop breathing. <laughs> That's right. 
instead of grabbing water, how about you grab a refreshing, right, refreshing cup of G fuel? <laughs> but isn't isn't <laughs> Arden? Isn't G fuel made with water though? That's where you're wrong, Bucko. Instead of using water, you should use vodka. Damn! Oh my God, that's not a good idea. Do not. I do. Starnari does not condone mixing G fuel with vodka. Please, for the love of God, do not. <laughs> Fucking kill yourself. Please. That's like people who drink Red Bull and vodka together. It's literally like the... No. Yeah, my cousin does that. God, it's so bad. I mean, I don't know if it tastes good. I have no idea. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an upper and a downer together. Because that's an idea that people have. I'm sorry, Astrid. Didn't mean to push you. You just seemed to be in the fucking way. I didn't mean to push you. You were just in my way. Well. If you weren't in my way, I wouldn't have to push you. It's true. Somebody gets it. This fish is just fucking chilling. What Gosh, is this? I can't decide on an art style for this thing. <laughs> oh, heck. It's a pond smelt. It sure could use a bath. Haha. -ha. <laughs> there are like five different ways I can make this work. <laughs> do, do. One of my favorite things is to fish off of a bridge. Because then it feels nice. Here's a fish. We know them. Oh my god, that would be so Probably much fun. Probably in a thousand years, because Nintendo's like the last one to pick up a new technology. That's true. They're the first and last, simultaneously. Yeah, they're the first ones to invent motion control, but they're uh, the last one to actually use them. <laughs> Listen, they, they know what they're doing. They just... It, we mere mortals cannot comprehend... What is going on inside Nintendo's heads? It's true. You gotta be like at least five levels of woke to understand Skyward Sword. I fucking hate Skyward Sword. <laughs> I cannot. It's just not a good video game. Animal Crossing VR can't wait to smack that Tom Nook. Bro, I'm gonna beat the shit out of Tom Nook in, in VR. I'm gonna. <laughs> Watching like Evo, but VR. <laughs> Bruh, people on Twitter are like constantly like, I don't know why you guys don't love Tom Nook. He's the best. Fuck you. Do you do you talk to you about your landlord like that? No. Tom Nook is no fucking different. <laughs> VR would never make it to GDQ because people would whine about, I don't know, anything. <laughs> Why is my phone just falling? Like, who gave you per fucking permission? Yeah, there have, there have been any VR games that uh, GDQ have there. I don't think so. I mean, GDQ really isn't the big, uh, met, like, speedrunning thing anymore because it's mostly just done for charity now. Uh, I think there's a new speedrunning thing where it's it's not done for charity like it's done like competitively instead when has speedrunning ever been competitive now it is it's all like speedrunning like you know how they have races sometimes like they'll do like four players racing in Mario 64 or something oh you're talking about SRL maybe I'm I'm, I'm bad with the names uh, of things run, maybe well the, yeah it's, they it's not Competitive as much as it is like people just do races, keep in practice with their games, trying new things. Oh well, no, no. Now there's there's a new. I, we're definitely not thinking of the same thing now, because now they're there's they're doing like a there was like an event a few months ago, where it was a thing sort of like SG like SGDQ or whatever, um, except instead of um, oh fuck whatever that giant fish was it got away, um, except instead of it being about like 
you know, running for charity or whatever, like, the person who, if they're doing, like, a four-way run, the person who wi- who wins, like, wins money or something. I mean, they do that at all sorts of sputtering things. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that, like the, uh... The, the Dragon Warrior community even runs, like, competitive tournaments. <laughs> I know that they had, uh... Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Mm. But the only speedrunning thing besides GDQ that I'm familiar with is RPG Limit Break and ESA, which is going on right now. I think what, It has to be a bigger thing, because they had cheese there, and that's, like the world record holder for 64. Yeah, Cheese is at ESA as well. It wasn't... Because Cheese beat... ESA is pretty big. Because Cheese beat his original record um, for 64 yeah, I, at that event I recently. Think cheese, uh, cheese set a 120 Star World record at ESA. Was that recently? Not too long ago. Well, maybe that's what it was then. But ESA is done for charity as well. I think... What's their charity? Is it... Last year was Alzheimer Foundation. I'm not sure if this year it saved the children or what. Yeah. I was watching a really interesting... Because you know how GDQ's been having a bunch of issues in recent years? No, I don't. With, like, banning people and people can sit, like, unfair bans and things like that. I've only heard of Bonesaw. And, um... This past summer, uh, even though he was originally supposed to not be at the event... And everything he was like part of a doing he was doing a Mario Maker two like um, level showcase thing at GDQ. Uh, they banned Trihex. I don't know if you uh, watch him. He's one of the only speedrunners. He's he's one of the only speedrunners I like watch regularly. Um, he originally used to do Yoshi's Island, um, but now he does like whatever. But that's like what got him into the community. <clears throat> Oh no! Well, it just seems to be a bunch of issues of things like that. Um, I, um, but it's lost on me. The only drama I heard is that people complaining about frame fatalities being mostly trans women. Oh, I mean, who cares what kind of people or what? It, in, in my opinion, like, who cares, right? People seem to have an issue with a lot of um, non-binary people being part of GDQ. And, uh, well, I mean, not just non-binary, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. When they, when they announced their new, uh, mascot, and the mascot was, uh, officially non-binary. Yeah. And people got mad. Salty about that. People need to fucking shut up. <laughs> like, I understand, oh, that's not something that I'm used to seeing. Well, fucking, I'm not used to seeing people be fucking babies about shit. And most people wouldn't be used to seeing people playing video games fast as possible. Yeah, if I if if I was like if I told my dad, "Hey dad, I'm going to beat this game in 20 minutes." He'd be like, "What?" And then I'd do it and he'd say, "What are you doing?" Like, <laughs> "Hey dad, look at this professional streamer who speed runs video games." And he'd say and he would say, "That's stupid." <laughs> That's what oh. So, I, right, like <laughs> I don't know. People need to like get their heads out of their asses about shit. Like Hey, how are you doing, Alex? That's why, I, that's why I don't really pay attention to the drama stuff. I'm just like, eh, whatever. Yeah, I, I, I'm... Uh, the only reason I know about it is because I was watching a video today. Of, like, well, I was listening to a video because I... That's what I do all day at work. Um, and I stumbled upon... Just in my quest to have more things to listen to because I always need more things to listen to. Um, I was... Something about GDQ came up and I was like, oh, I like that. And it's like a 45, 50-minute video. That's a good chunk of time to, you know spend doing something and then uh, it was about a bunch of shit going on with GDQ and I was like oh I had no idea any of this was going on I mean I knew the Trihex thing because like he got really upset about getting banned um, because they banned him for a like saying something on a stream but it was a clip from three years ago and they banned him, like, a week before GDQ, even though he had been at previous GDQs from, like, the thing he had said till then. So, like, that was kind of weird. 
Yeah, there could be more to the story. Yeah. Well, that was the reason they gave him, but they really didn't give him much of a reason. He had to, like, go out of his way to find out why he was even banned. Judy Q doesn't like to publicize their reasons, so... Most of it's speculation, anyway. And Bonesaw was the one that got banned for, um... Talking about Owen Wilson and Canada, Air Canada, right? Yes, he was the Jack and Dexter. <laughs> <laughs> Jack and Dexter was the Canadian Air Force. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just so funny to me. <laughs> I've watched that run. He was legitimately really entertaining in that run. So I don't know. We gotta wait for the train to go by. Yeah. Personally, I think the thing would have, that would have been most likely to get a band was the Air Canada call-up. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Just I, because like, it does reflect poorly on, G, on GDQ. Yeah. I understand that they are a... Uh, like, at the end of the day, they are a business, you know? Because not only do they have their own interests to worry about, they also have their sponsors. And their sponsors may have certain rules... Yeah. And it's very possible that, like, uh, whoever was sponsoring them was like, you know, this is out of hand. Uh, <laughs> we will not continue to support it unless you take action. Yeah. And that could have been any of their sponsors. It could have been Red Bull. It could have been Domino's Pizza. It could have been who knows. Do those people sponsor them? I know recently, I don't know, I, I forget who sponsors which ones, but I know Red Bull and Domino's Pizza both sponsored recent catering events. <laughs> was it GDQ? Was it ESA? Was it something else? I can't remember. Maybe. But I've definitely heard at least both of those mentioned recently. Nice. Speedrunning yeah, is really moving up in the world. Any of them might have said something to GDQ and that's why they acted. Mm. So you never know. They got in big trouble. Was he perma banned? Like, officially? No, from what I understood, Bonesaw was permitted to attend the event, just was not permitted to submit a run for the next, I think it was one or two years. Jeez. But he was permitted to attend any event he wanted uh, with no restriction. I had a good day, Alec. Thank you for asking. I mean, it was okay. I worked. And I'm getting really fed up with my coworker, but that's about it. He's just one of those people where, like, he's been working there for like three years, and like, it's our job to clean cars if they sell, and. Um, clean up the lot and make sure that, you know, all the cars on the lot look nice and a bunch of sh other stuff. Um, and he just disappears. <laughs> and it's not like he's doing something else in the lot. It's, it's a small lot. Like, from where we work, it's part of our job to kind of keep an eye on the lot. I can see every, I can see the entire lot. And he's not on the lot, like, moving cars around or... You know, something like that. And he's not in the back with me cleaning cars. And he's not inside the building doing something. He's just, like, MIA. Like, all day long, not doing anything. People Like, other people who work with me, like, people... Like, my managers and stuff will come outside. They'll be like, oh, where's... What's his name? It's so-and-so. And I'm like, I don't know. And, like, it just seems to be a constant thing where he's just not around and not doing anything. And I'm just getting fed up with it. But yeah. Otherwise, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Having a pretty good day otherwise. What do we get? A fish.
Bruh. What's <laughs> up, Astrid? How am I still awake? Because mm. sleep is for the weak. There's another one. How many ponds melt will we catch today? Probably like five. There's this present I keep hearing. we go. What's the present? What's the present? A balloon dog lamp. Nice. Oh, what's up, Rooney? Something new? Okay. What you got? Old dog. Uh, no. You're not going to give me an option to input what I want? You can't call me Meep like Inari or Onion Ring Boy. Or any of the other like seven nicknames I have. Deirdre is fishing. Hmm. I don't know how much longer I'm going to go for. Wow, it's already been an hour and a half? Jesus. Man, an hour and a half. Just four and a half more hours to go before a normal start or a stream length. <laughs> it's just crazy to me that I can play this game for an hour and a half and it feels like ten minutes. It's a real problem. Yeah, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. It's a good thing that it, the game doesn't feel like a chore to play, I guess. But it's a bad thing that I can lose myself in this game that easily. This is the kind of game where it's like, there's really, like, because there's really no, like, you don't, you're not completing levels or whatever. So, like, because it's not, like, so set on structure, like, you really never run out of things to do. While whilst also I guess I don't know does that make sense like technically you don't have anything to do but you never run out of things you can do I think that's what makes Animal Crossing so appealing I don't know when I played City Folk I felt like after 30 minutes I had done like everything I needed to do mm -hmm. and then I just waited for tomorrow before well, there was more things to do well City Folk is definitely the weakest entry I would say uh -huh. um for many reasons. Most Animal Crossing fans will say so. Um, but I think this game does a like lot. GameCube was even worse. Oh, like, yeah, no. Way less to do. No, I mean, the best thing about GameCube is that there's no system clock to base it on, so you can just, like, do your, your dailies and then literally just go back to the main menu, make it the next day, and, like, just play like that because... <laughs> because, like... There's really nothing else to do in that game. It is extremely bare bones. Yeah. Which I mean, you know, what's that? What's the game gonna do? It can't help that it's the first game ever, like, in the series. So. Yeah, as far as Nintendo games go, I'd say it's fairly innovative. Yeah. Oh, like at the time the GameCube one came out, I can't yeah. really think of too many other games that were just sort of. Like a, yeah, like way. like a real time life sim, which is different than something like Harvest Moon. Yeah, because even stuff like Harvest Moon, like they have objectives, and a lot of the Harvest Moon games gave you a timeline to finish X number of tasks by. Election Day is the third, really? Holy shit! Is it? <laughs> I have a donation for you, Blathers. It's this dab. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a dab. <laughs> I 
No. <laughs> I already know who I'm picking, but I don't feel, um, obligated to talk about it. You know? Like, whose business is that besides mine? Not a lot of people seem to like talking about politics. No. Not me. <laughs> As I've heard quite loudly in the dying hall. <laughs> Well, don't worry, Arden. I hate talking about politics. Yeah, I wouldn't mind it if people actually did their research once in a while. Well, yeah. But even, even like, politicians who are in office say things that show they haven't really done their research. Mm -hmm. It's annoying after a while. Yep. But, yeah. I'm excited for Democratic primaries because, I mean, whoever well, you gets... Gave, you gave away part of your position in there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Me, a millennial, being Democratic? No way. <laughs> it's the weekend, yeah, not... I, at least in my first school, there were still plenty of people my age who are Republican. Well, like, that school is predominantly Republican, I'd say. Weird. Well, because it was a private school, and because it was, it wasn't a Catholic university, but it had strong Catholic, like, oh, leadership values. involved. Oh, okay. Um, so it leaned very heavily uh, Republican because of that. Me, a non-binary. <laughs> <laughs> the the non-binary <laughs> millennial is a Democrat? No way. I'm liberal? No way. <laughs> Impossible. Well, you could also be green, or you could be working families, you could be libertarian. Well, libertarian's more right-leaning. What the fuck is green? <laughs> the Green Party. Uh, they're, they're strongly associated with the Democratic Party, but mm -hmm. um, they are a bit more liberal than the Democratic Party, I'd say, on most issues. Killer Clean Black was $20? Why? I mean, listen, that game is good, but not $20 good. I would say even with the price drop, it's not $10 good either. It's like $4 good. <laughs> and as their name suggests, they were founded originally around, like, special concern for environmental issues. Hmm. That's nice. Of the third parties we have running, the Green Party has gotten the furthest, like, as far as getting votes, but it was still, like, not a lot of votes. <laughs> that song is terrible. It was that bad. I don't think Killer Queen is black is a bad game. I just don't think it's worth twenty dollars. Or ten, apparently. Or ten. Well, it's just like it feels like a like an arcade game, you know. Like it feels like something you like pump a few quarters into, play with your friends, and then you like don't really touch it. Like, it doesn't, it's not something that is worth $20, for sure. Well, most fighting games, you can make that argument. It's not a fighting game. I just mean, like, fighting games in general were meant to be arcade games. Oh, well, yeah. That you're supposed to put quarters in and then never touch again. But then <laughs> they started selling them for home consoles, and it's like... <laughs> In Canada, it's thirteen forty nine, bruh. It's definitely not thirteen forty nine. Good. Well, thirteen forty nine is 
49 Canadian is ten dollars United States. It's, it's not either of those. <laughs> If it, get, if it goes on sale, I would... I don't even think I would buy it. I would play it if somebody else had it. I would not buy it myself. It would take a lot of convincing to get me to want to purchase that game. But, you know, that's okay. Like, even if you just look up videos of the gameplay and stuff, like, it's just very simple. Like, it's not... I don't know. $20 is expensive, but you know, that's 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 pretty pricey for a game. There's not too many games I can think of like like Sonic Mania is like $20, you know? You get way more out of Sonic Mania than you do out of Killer Queen Black. Oh, God. What time is it? It is 11:30. Do I play more? I feel like I'm actually done with, with Animal Crossing. I mean, I just have to write some letters. And then I'm good for today. So yeah, I think I'm just going to cut the stream. Thank you guys for popping in to, to, to Johto for me, with me for a little while. Uh, I'm going to go uh, write some letters to my villagers. You're having a really bad day, Mal? I'm sorry. Well, I hope your day gets better. I mean, the day's pretty much over now, so, you know, probably you should just go to sleep and try again tomorrow. <laughs> that's not supposed to be a joke, that's just, that's usually what I find works the best. If you have a bad day, you just, you just lay down and you, you just get comfortable and you just try to enjoy sleep. Because sleep is the best part of any day, for sure. At least for me. Disagree with you on that one. <laughs> no, Arden. I mean, I kind of disagree with what I said, even, but that's fine. Oh gosh. I don't enjoy sleep, and if I could do less of it, I would. Mm. That's how I usually feel until I'm at work, and then I'm like, oh, I would love to be asleep. <laughs> oh god. All right, gamers. I'm gonna go write some letters to the villagers here. And then I'm going to go to sleep because I have work early tomorrow. Um, but there'll be a stream tomorrow night. I think we're doing Minecraft. So, uh, yeah. Get ready for that. I'm excited. I imagine you guys are excited. Oh, we're going to start with Animal Crossing tomorrow, by the way. We'll do like a half an hour of Animal Crossing really quick. And then we'll jump right into um, Minecraft. And we'll, we'll go for a long time because um, cause it's... Saturday and I get home from work at like 5 I think and then I have Sunday off so we got plenty of time to stream so heck yeah um and I'll see you guys tomorrow so yeah see you guys then how do I end the stream where's the button there it is <laughs>